So this video is how to um, thread your uh, dressmaker slash um, Morse sewing machine. First thing, the sewing machine when it's running will always turn in this direction. So always turn it in this direction. Don't turn it backward. It just doesn't like it. it you can have threads jam up. Another thing that's important is this is the take up lever here. And as the machine starts to stitch, it will go down and come back up. And that's when the stitch is finished. So when you thread the machine, start a seam or stop a seam, continue turning the hand wheel until it gets up to the, to the zenith, up at the very top. The other thing is the presser foot goes either down or up. There is a third position in the up, but I wouldn't use that. Um, for various reasons so just up or down is good so raise the foot into the up position when threading it so what you're going to do is use a good quality polyester thread and what I like to do is just take the thread like this a little loop and then just give it a little twist and it makes it stiff and it makes it a little bit easier to poke it through so we're gonna poke it through the eye of this guide here doesn't matter which hole, there are two holes, doesn't matter. Then this is the important part. Well, you know, it's all important, but um, make sure that the thread goes in between the tension discs of this machine, right there. Don't get it in front so it gets in between the discs and the plastic knob, and you don't want it in the back either so it's behind the discs. Make sure it's in between the discs, and once you've got it in there, Continue pulling it around all the way. Go underneath this little spring here, the check spring. Make sure it goes underneath the check spring and then bring it over the top of the check spring so that, so that the thread, when you get it down here, it pulls the spring up and down like that. It's really important. Then just hook it underneath this little hook and you'll see that the check spring should move like that. Then there's a little uh, a little break in this guide here, and it'll just slip right in there like that, okay? So it should be at this point. Then, again, you can take your thread and give it a little twist, and that will help it to go from right to left through the take-up lever, just like that. Then put it through this guide again, so it slides into this little slot just like that and you'll see that the thread is now through there twice that's so it doesn't get pinched by this door so what you can do is open up the door and then you'll see this little guide right here and all you do is just slip the thread through that little guide and then there's another guide right here it's a little curlicue and all you do is hook it over the top of the curlicue and around and make sure that it stays in the little curlicue. And then take some scissors, sharp scissors. If you make a nice blunt cut and hold it about a centimeter away, if, if you hold it too far, it's just too floppy. And then you want to thread the needle from the right, I'm sorry, from the left to the right. So it just goes right through the eye of the needle to the right and just pull a little bit of thread here and then hold on to your thread and do a full, I'm gonna close this door, one rotation turning it in the sewing direction and watch this take up lever, it will go down and then it will come back up and when it gets to the top you'll see that it pulled up the bobbin thread. And you can pull both threads from the bobbin and then just hold it and go underneath the presser foot and pull the slack out and just pull it to the back and it's ready to sew. And always make sure that this tensioner is set right around the five mark and you're good to go.